Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Stephanie Stamp Pad, where we get together and make a card. And I am talking really fast, sorry. Slow down. Today's card, no I'm kidding. Today's card is a beautiful love card. Now, I am imagining giving this to Ken for our anniversary. It's coming up, we're almost on 28 years, and I'm thinking I'm gonna give him this card for our anniversary. And look at how beautiful it is. It has the scalloped edge, it says love, it has some stamping in the back. Open it up and I can write my little love message to him. Isn't that fantastic? Now, what do we need to create this card? First, we need the flip it, I'm sorry, not the flip it, the fold it cards that I designed for Sizzix. This is the heart shape, which is really fun because it has that beautiful swirl design. We're also going to be using the love statement set that I designed for the stamps of life. So there's love and then the stamps that match. We're going to be using bubblegum ink and bubblegum inker or, or, or blender and some cardstock and some adhesive and we're going to get started the first thing we're going to do is i've just taken a piece of eight and a half by eleven cardstock and folded it in half that is going to be my card base i'm going to bring it over to my machine and i want i'm going to use the largest die in the kit i want my fold to be up at the top so now i know it might be hard to see on camera but it says place fold here or place fold here, place fold here. We want it to be up at the top. So we have, see, I'm going to exaggerate this, but see how the fold is here. My paper is folded here and I'm going to do this right like that. So I can still see through it, but it's just going to be on, the fold is going to be on the inside of my die. I'm going to lay that down and I'm going to run this through just like that. Now there's something, a trick I'm going to show you on this. So I'm going to run that back through and something that I want you to notice is on that fold line and most of the dies that are the folded it doesn't matter but you can see that it's kind of flat right there and you're like oh gosh I don't want it because that's where it folds but you're like oh I don't want it to look like that well what you're going to do is you're going to die cut it normally so you're just going to lay it down and we'll just do it too just to do it so we're going to lay that down and we're just going to run it through normal like a normal die La la la, just run it through normal. La la la, we're just gonna run it through. Doo, doo, doo. And then what we're gonna have is we're just gonna have the heart, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer that on top. So now it's gonna cover those fold lines. So let's add some adhesive to the back of this. Oops, there we go. And we're going to simply just line that up perfectly. And now we have a card that doesn't have any fold lines. Isn't that fantastic? Now what we're gonna do is we are going to die cut the next layer heart because this die set comes with lots of hearts. We're gonna die cut it with this one. So this is the one that I did the fold and it has the scalloped edge. Now we're going to do this one, which is the next size. This is gonna be the layering piece. Easy peasy. And we're gonna stamp on that in just a second, but let's do some more die cutting. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna die cut some red, and I have already put the adhesive on the back, so I have adhesive on the back. I'm gonna lay this down, and I see I have a little bit of a dirty die here. I'm going to clean my die, because a dirty die equals a dirty die cut. We don't want that. You always want to use a clean die, so you get a clean die cut. So I just see a couple little spots that I just need to poke out because we don't want that to happen. And that looks perfect. We're gonna lay that down. We're also gonna lay down this one that we just did, we just cut the white out of. So we're gonna use both of these. So that will die cut the swirls completely out. We're gonna lay that down and we're gonna run this through. Now this is very intricate. It also is extra layers because I have that adhesive sheet in there. So we're gonna run it through once and simply just gonna run it right back through. You could also use your precision base plate, but just running it twice on this one will be just enough what we need. Now we have some pretty pieces and we can even get one of our little brushes if we wanna clean it out like this. And it already fell out. So we can flick also, we can get that cleaned up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna die cut our word love. And I have adhesive on the back of this and I have adhesive on the back of this. I always save my scraps. So I always, any scraps that have adhesive on the back go right in my, right on my file thing right here. So that way I don't waste any of that beautiful, wonderful adhesive. I'm going to lay that down and I'm going to run these through. So we have adhesive on both of those. Nice cracks. That means the blade is cutting. 
It means it's going through the cutting pad to cut. So we have the word love. And we have the word love without the shadow. So with that's the shadow and this is the love. And we're gonna peel this up. Look at how intricate this is. Can you imagine trying to add this adhesive to the back of that? Oh, you'd go crazy. So that's why we have adhesive sheets. So we're going to lay this down. Do one letter at a time so you can line it up. Whoops, I almost tore it there. Oh, I tore it a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna line up the O, line up the V. So are you thinking about who you're gonna give this card to when you finish it? So there's my love. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to stamp. I have some scratch paper here. Clean my die cut a little. And we are going to stamp, let's clean our, oof, I feel like it's so messy all of a sudden. Oh, I have a trash can underneath me. Don't worry, I'm not throwing it on the floor. And so let's get, we're going to say, um, because it's going to say love, so it's going to say you forever and a day. There was a song back in the day. Kenny, do you remember that song, Forever and a Day? Who sang that? Was it like New Edition or something? Okay, so we're going to lay that down. And we are going to ink this baby up. And I've already used the stamp, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to just do like the bottom part. So I'm just going to go there. And I wanted to say it over and over again, so I'm just going to go like there. And we're going to ink it again and go. So we're just kind of variating it. Variating it? Is that a word? We're varying it. So it's going to just say forever and a day, forever and a day. And we're going to add that. So the statement sets are really fun because they come with the stamp and the die. So you already have the word die set. And we're just going to fill in all these extra pieces. Oops. Always have scrap paper under you. You don't want to stamp accidentally on your secret weapon. Look at that. Oh, let's do one more at the bottom. Okay. Oh, let's do one more there. I want to make sure we fill it all in. Okay. That looks awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our inker, our blender, and I'm going to ink it up. Now, you would think that you could use the same, this is the same color, but this is the big version, this is the small version. You're going to use the small version with your blenders. You are going to use the big version with your stamps. Why is that? Because these ink, these blenders have little pieces of fuzz, they collect fuzz. And if I got fuzz on my big beautiful ink pad, and then I went to stamp, a piece of fuzz would stick to my stamp and then it wouldn't stamp right and it wouldn't be, and you'd be sad because you'd have to stamp over and over and clean your stamp and deal with that. So you want to use the little mini pads for the inking, for the blending. That way you don't have to worry about those little extra pieces of fur or fuzz or whatever. And we're just going to run this over. It's the same color. I'm using the same color. I'm using bubble gum. And we're just going to kind of give it some little extra definition on one side. And we're going to go up just a little bit just for kicks. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do, and you can see how even though it's stamped in the same color, you can see, you can see both. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close that up, and we are going to get our die. Now remember, this had the adhesive on the back, so we're just going to flick it. Also, when you don't, if you don't want to flick it, you can also peel it. Most of the trash will come off. See that? Look at that. Most of it will come off. Now these swirls are a little tricky sometimes because the scraps get cut in there so there we go so now what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down whoops one extra piece look at that now we know this is going to line up perfectly because it was the same die remember that cut it out it was the outside layer piece there we go and now we're going to add this to this so we're going to add adhesive to this to the front of our card just like this Look at how cute this is. This is also a great card for Valentine's Day, for Friendship Day, for anything. Now we're gonna add our love. And I have adhesive on the back of this, but I noticed that some of my word is gonna hang off a little, so I'm only gonna peel off some of the back. So don't peel off all the back, because you don't want it to get sticky on the back um, when, it's not, when it's hanging over. So we're gonna lay that right there. And then to finish this off, we're going to add a cute little bow right in the corner. So let's get some glue dots and we're going to add some of those sticky little guys on there. So we'll add two just to make sure we get it on there. And there we go. And look at how adorable this car. How easy was that? 
Wasn't that fun? Love with some beautiful stamping in the background. We can open it up and we can write our message. If you don't want to write on the red, die cut another white heart, lay it right on the inside, and now you can write on the white. Isn't that fantastic? Look at how beautiful that is. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Stephanie's Stamp Pad where we get together and make a card. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.